Hello and welcome, this is Wannadu and this is my quick tutorial on professions in Steinworld. They were added a while back but they can be a little confusing so I'm going to walk you through it. There are 8 professions in total and you can use them to craft things and ultimately get some pretty good items like this one, Isolation, which is only a level 5 item but does an absolute ton of damage. So that's the kind of thing that you can get, and it's not the hardest thing to unlock, especially if you're only level 5, that's going to be way more than what I've got here that's only about 10 damage, and this can be like 71. So, there's 8 professions, 3 of them are gathering. For the 3 gathering professions you need um, different items to collect, uh, to collect the resources, and you can find the resources on the map, such as up here. They, um, you can... You'll get used to seeing what they look like. The game is really laggy at the minute because there's lots of players online. So bear with me. You use the item that you need. You deal damage to that item. And it drops your resources that you have. So once you've gathered your material. Um, you find the people that are scattered around Farshall. They're all near the place. And they have beginner and then the skill. So if we go on the map you can see um, if you zoom in. You can see where all these people are lumbering, leatherwork. The enchanters and the weapon and armorsmiths are actually inside houses. Um, I believe the tailoring is as well. But they're all within Farshaw. If you go further afield um, later on in the game, I'm sure you find them elsewhere. This is just for beginning, which is up to about level 10. So you talk to the person. And this is also where you can buy the resources that you need to gather the items. So pickaxe for ores. Um, and you have all of these books, which if I open up... Uh, you use them here. So first of all, let me buy some charcoal. Some of the items you do require uh, extra items to craft. So I'm going to buy five charcoal from this guy. And then if I go on mining, uh, I can make some copper ingots. So how about we make five of those? So this is how you do some crafting. I could just craft max because that would do the same. And then the little bar goes along the bottom. Um, this is a good time for me to talk about experience. So you'll notice there are different colours. Um, it goes red, orange, green, white. As you level up, they transition lower down the level. Basically, red gives you the most amount of experience per um, action. Green, um, orange gives you the next amount, and green gives you the least. Once it gets to white, you no longer get experience for doing that action. Um, so if I gathered copper, copper nuggets, I wouldn't get any experience for it, but it would enable me to craft. So you would still get experience if you converted them into copper ore. So it's a way of meaning that you can't just uh, continuously farm the lowest level thing. So if we look at my herbalism, I don't get experience for these two. I get the most for this one, then I get reduced for this one, reduced for this one. So I made some copper, so then let's do some copper bars. So then you see this one is red, so I'll get five experience here. Um, and you get the experience for your level. Um, and once this is done, I'll just quickly show you how the books work. So I bought myself one of the books, let's get my inventory up. So you notice that I've gone up a level, it tells me down in my chat. I've got 20 experience, I got leveled up to booksmith, so I bought this book. Uh, Beach Handle Weaponsmith 2, which I bought from one of the traders, he was inside. So then you click this slot, it gives you an option, and let's learn the Beach Handle. Um, and then it tells you how long it's going to take, how much time you got remaining, so it takes 30 seconds in this one. Some of the ones take longer, like this one's 15 minutes. So um, the other slots which you have to pay for could become worth it in the end. Um, and just bear in mind that when you buy them, obviously you need a certain level to be able to learn that skill. So you don't want to end up with loads of books uh, taking up your space. And you can upgrade your tools obviously with copper and sickle and um, copper, and, bleh, copper pickaxes, that kind of thing. Uh, and you can also get these books from mobs, so keep an eye out for when they've dropped it. So I've learned that skill. You see that as I leveled up, the copper bar went from red to yellow, um, orange, and the beach handle is now red. I can make a bunch of beach handles, I'll be able to level this up. Um, I hope that's explained everything to you pretty well. Uh, do check out my Let's Play at this game. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to play today because the lag is incredible. Um, and I'll be having a few other tutorials in the future, so keep an eye out for that as well. All the best. See you next time.